What's up everybody? My name is Karen Michelle. Welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, I'm just going to be giving you all my opinion on the movie Queen and Slim. I went to go see it twice. Yes, I loved it. But every movie has pros and cons. Excuse me. So I'm going to be giving you all my opinion of the movie and I'm going to be creating a full face beat for you all. All the products will be listed below because I cannot give you all the products and give you the review to the movie. It's just too much going on. So it's going to be down in the description box everything that I used on my face. But first before I give you all the opinion, my opinion of the movie, I'm going to show you all how I did my eyeshadow first and then we'll get into Queen and Slim Talk, okay? So thank you for coming to my channel. Please like, subscribe, and comment and we'll talk soon. All right, child, now that we're done with the eyeshadow, let's get into this full face and Queen and Slim. So, first I'm gonna start by saying that I enjoyed the movie, I loved the movie, and I actually cried on the movie, okay? Call me emotional, but I cried. And I really cried because of the love story. I loved what the love story told, you know, how they basically were two different people, you know, getting to know each other through this terrible tragedy, you know? But, so in the beginning of the movie, it got right into it, which that's what I love. I love a movie that get right to the point, you know? No being around the bush, no taking all day, just get right to the point, you know? So, that's one thing I can say that I really did like was that the movie got straight to the point. It didn't waste any time. 
Um, my opinion, I do feel like the cop scene was realistic to me. I mean, to me, it seemed like that's something that would happen in real life. I mean, she was doing a lot of talking in the car. I mean, because, you know, when a cop come to your car, ain't nobody really, you know, everybody just ready to go. So, ain't nobody really going to be saying nothing or stuff like that. But there are women out here that will do that while they in the car with you. So, I mean, to me, it was still realistic. A lot of people feel like it wasn't realistic. Um... The cop scene, but I think it was. And yeah, going forward, after they shot the cop, and I, I want y'all to comment y'all opinion on that part. What would y'all have did? If that was y'all in that predicament, you know, whether you a girl and you going on a first date and the guy you dating is, you know, an attorney and you shot the cop, you know, what would you have done? You know, would you have stayed there if you was him? If you was Daniel, the one who played Slim, would you have stayed after you shot that cop? Or would you have left or fled the scene? I just don't know y'all opinion. My opinion to that question, I'll answer my own question, is I would have left. And the reason why I say that is because with me going on a date with an attorney, once the attorney said we need to go, I would have automatically just felt like, okay, he know what he's talking about because he's an attorney, you know what I mean? Like he know the law. So, okay, maybe this is a right decision. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know, I would have lived. But I mean, obviously after they put the cop in the trunk, it's clear that they both didn't know what the fuck, was going, what they, what the fuck they was doing to me. So, I don't know, okay, so going forward through the movie, it did kind of slow down. I feel like, like it got straight to the point, which I loved it, like it, cause it kept me interested. You know, like it wasn't like slow. It was like, it got straight to the point, they killed the cop, you like, what's next, you know? But it did start to slow down, you know, after a while. Started getting a little slow, like, you know. But I mean, it was like we were taking a road trip with them, with Daniel and Jody, Queen and Slim. We were taking like a road trip with them, basically. But, um, yeah, I mean, it kind of got a little slow or whatever, but, and then it just started picking back up. Again, you were just worried about what was next. As far as the characters, first off, Daniel is an amazing actor. And Jody, for that to be, like, one of her first, like, big screen movies, she did a good job, too. But character-wise, like, their character, I didn't care for, um, Queen, you know, because she just came off as a brat, you know. And it's just, like... Shut the fuck up. But I mean, after a while, I mean, she started opening up. So it was like, okay, we see what she been through. You know, I wouldn't compare it to Bonnie and Clyde, which is what a lot of people doing for some stupid ass reason. I wouldn't compare it to Bonnie and Clyde because it's nothing like Bonnie and Clyde at all. Bonnie and Clyde, Clyde was robbing banks. They're in the situation they're in because of color of their skin. And then another thing I heard people saying too, is you know they should have used african americans like you know that you know real like black i guess they were saying because daniel and jody i don't know if they like england or african something like that but i guess people really didn't like that you know but i feel like regardless of it it ain't about what language you speak or what country you're from at the end of the day it's the color of your skin. They can leave England or leave Africa and come live in St. Louis or come live in Kansas City or whatever the fuck. And a cop not gonna be like, oh, well, they talk this way, so we know. No, they're gonna look at the color of your skin. So I didn't get really what, what people's problem was with, you know, them using those two actor and actresses. Um, I do like the funny parts, you know, cause I mean, it was a serious, movie but they tried to break the seriousness sometimes and make it like funny and i like that you know give you a little laugh that movie gave me all emotions it made me sad you know it made me it made it, it was funny as fuck and then you know it was serious i mean it, it just gave me all emotions you know it just kept having me guess what was next they did a really good job on that movie and i guess you know i'm saying all the good stuff I guess the cons I could say is I really didn't understand why the little boy shot the black cop because it kind of threw everything off to me. It's just like, 
why would he shoot the black cop and the black cop telling him like look just go home you know like he's being nice he's telling you don't you don't need to be here whatever the case may be you know he's being nice oh he took off his mask or whatever and it's like you shot him in the face like i don't really get what message the directors was trying to give like maybe if i knew the message i it would kind of make sense but it was like first it started off as this racial thing and then later on in the movie we got a little boy killing a black cop it just it just didn't make sense to me that that part i didn't understand at all i didn't understand that part i think that's really like the only kind i can give the movie is that you know is that like why, why would y'all do that it's like it just threw it off you know because they had black people helping each other then they show black people scheming each other which is very true because black people will legit like it, it don't matter any color like people literally you got people that will be on your side and people that will turn on you so i mean i don't know i mean like i said i would just say the only kind of the movie to me was when the boy shot the cop i just didn't get it you know um and it's a movie so i mean and and another thing i really kind of didn't get i mean in reality in all reality if you were in a situation like that you would just be happy to be in that situation with the person you were in considering the fact that she had an uncle the uncle knew somebody that person knew somebody it was just like a lot you know that that's a very rare situation a very rare situation that you're in the car with somebody and you go through that situation and they just know all these fucking people so i mean yeah very rare situation but it was just like if I'm on the run, I'm not stopping and dancing. I'm not stopping and dancing. I'm not stopping and riding horses. I'm not doing none of that. You're not gonna hear from me until, I mean, we're not gonna do anything or you're not gonna hear from me until I get to where I'm going. Now, I think it was realistic how he called his father because I'm very close to my family as well and I would have called them too. I mean. Now, I don't know why he was gonna tell him where he was at. That was kind of bizarre, but I guess. Like I said, and then when I went to the theaters, the first time I went to the theaters to see it, everybody stayed to the end end. Like after the traumatic ending of them, everybody still stayed to see like what happened, you know? Second time I went, half the theater left after they got shot basically half the theater basically left and it's just like stay because the ending really did have stuff that you would probably be like dang you know but i don't know like i said a lot of people just really mad that they died but i mean how was how else did you expect that to end you thought they was gonna be on the run from the cops make it to cuba and live happily ever after or get justice that's not realistic they're not getting justice behind it but I mean, and another thing I didn't care for. So I already told y'all I didn't care for the little boy shooting the black cop because it made no, zero sense to me. But another thing I didn't really care for was, I forgot what I was gonna say. It was a comeback to me. But it was another thing I really did not care for. And I was just like, are you serious? Damn, I forgot what it was whatever but yeah it was something else i really did not care for and then when they had the sex scene and it was having sex during the ride that was funny i, I found that kind of funny i did find that kind of funny but yeah overall like i said the movie was a good movie just a couple things where you just like mm, that kind of didn't make sense to me or you know whatever i like i said i feel like it was realistic but like i said i mean it wasn't gonna be no happy ending i mean that that was to me that was common sense it won't be no happy ending y'all not finna just be on the run and happy ever after and get justice it's not gonna happen it's just not gonna happen that way if y'all wanted that y'all should never ran y'all should just stay there and call the cop shot sales and told them what happened Instead, y'all ran, so it, it just wasn't going in right. But yeah, so I recommend the movie. Like, if I could say one out of ten, I'll rate the movie 
a nine. And like I said, that 1% is just how I felt about it. It's just like, it, it was like I said, it was just too much, like from the, but like I said, the, the, the kid shooting me really did it for me. It just, it just made no sense, y'all. At all. And then when they was hiding, they hid under the bed. He said, get under the bed. Ain't no way, I mean, obviously, it gotta be a high spot, but it's like, when they woke up the next morning, it was like a puzzle to get out of there. I'm like, how they do that? But yeah. I heard a lot of people say, you know, like in the theater that, you know, that ain't right. Every, you know, black movie they make, you know, it always end up turning out like people die, you know. But I mean, like I said, I don't understand how, what we thought it was going to end like. I didn't get it. I didn't get it. Yeah, y'all. My boyfriend calling. Hey babe, I'm doing the video and I'm giving my opinion on Queen and Slim. You say what? I'm recording my video right now and I'm giving um, my subscribers my opinion on Queen and Slim. Your opinion? Huh? You giving your subscribers a key? No, I'm giving my subscribers my opinion on Queen and Slim. Uh, that's yeah, I'm recording right now. They hear you. You gonna say hi? Oops. Babe. Okay, you <laughs> <laughs> okay, babe. Your opinion. Out of one out of ten, what would you rate Queen and Slim? Alright, You said what? A team. And if you could name one con in the movie, what would it be? Uh, like what you mean, a con? Like, something like, that like yeah, something you didn't like, babe. That they died. Not telling you. Well, I didn't like they died. What would you do? You don't like that they died, but wouldn't that something that would have happened anyway? I don't think so. I think they would have got caught before they died. They would have got arrested before they died. Okay. Okay. All right, babe, I'm gonna finish up with my subscribers. I'll talk to you in a minute. Yeah. <laughs> Love you. Love you too. Bye. Yeah, like I said, you know, even my boyfriend feels like he don't like that they died. Like, they could have got arrested or something, but... Ooh, that was a lot. Ooh, that was a lot, too. I guess I just expected it. I don't know. Who knows? But yeah, y'all, so... That's pretty much my opinion on that. I'm not, you know, I'm pretty much done talking about that. I can't really think about why I was, what my second con was. I really wish I could. Because I know my first one was why he shot the cop. But I don't know what the second one is. But while I'm thinking about that, I guess I'm just going to tell you all a little bit about me. Because I haven't really told you all anything about me. But I am 23. And I am in the Army National Guard. I have been in for five years now. So, yeah. Uh, I don't really know if it's something that I want to do forever. Or like retire is what I mean. I mean, but it was a great experience. It's a great experience to be in the Army, you know. But I don't know if that's something I want to do forever, you know. But yeah, I'm 23. I'm in the Army. I don't have any kids, no kids at all, and I'm not ready for any kids. Uh-uh, not ready for any kids at all. 
no kids. Um, I have two sisters. I'm the middle child. Yes, I am the middle child. I have an older sister and a younger sister. And I live in St. Louis, Missouri. And no kids and no marriage. And I guess what I want to take from this, like doing makeup, is not really something I want to like do on other people. Like I like doing my own makeup, but doing other people makeup is not a, that's not what I'm trying to do, you know. I mean, I will do it if I know you or if you really just like, hey, can you do my makeup? You know, I will, but like all that booking sites and all that, no. I'm not, I'm not really, that's not my aim. My aim is really to just eventually become a brand ambassador and hopefully one day have my own makeup collection. I mean, I know I'm thinking big, but I mean, I'm 23, why not? Why not think big? So yeah, y'all look at this. And I used this this time, I used NARS um, setting powder for my face and I really feel like this is just heavy. Mm-hmm. But yeah, that's pretty much really it. You know, like I really, my goal is just to, like I said, eventually become a brand ambassador and just, you know, get bigger. I mean, I really feel like I need to leave my city to do that, you know, to like, for better opportunity, my opinion. But I guess that'll come when it comes. But yeah, y'all, please let me know in the comments what did y'all think about Queen and Slim. Let me know what y'all cons were, because maybe I can think of my con. I'm really trying to think about what my con was. I just can't. I really just cannot think of it. And I'm over here really trying hard. I'm trying to think. Hmm. I can't think of it. But yeah, I really just want to know why the key is shot. The black cop. That was a really good movie. I really wish I could have played in it. It like had some type of role in it. One day I just want to have a role in the movie. And it, it don't got to be the leading role. I mean, I love to be the leading role. But just a, a good movie like that is something you take home with you. Like, And I don't watch movies twice. I don't go to the movies and watch it twice. So, at all. But yeah, a lot of people think like my boyfriend, like they really just feel like they didn't have to die. And you know, I think it is sad like sometimes that in order for us as black people to become a legend, we have to die, you know? Or to make a difference, so. But I mean, like I said, I just expected it. I expected that to happen in that movie. Yeah, yeah, but I was doing voiceovers at first, like all my other videos, I was doing voiceovers, but that's because I never, I don't have a mic. Okay, Karen, okay, okay. Bad bitch, period.
But yeah, y'all, don't forget, leave y'all opinion. I wanna know y'all opinion. I wanna know y'all pros and cons of the movie. Mm-mm, look at that. This was freehand on my lip shop. I didn't even plan this lip. <laughs> it is fire. So yeah, y'all, yeah, this is the finished look. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Um, I just felt like I needed to get my review on Queen and Slim because it was a good movie and I went to go see it twice and I don't do that often. So, um, yeah, so I just felt the need to give y'all that opinion. Again, all the products used in this video is in the description box. I am really feeling these lips. So, yeah, comment again. Just comment, let me know what y'all think. Give me y'all opinions and until next time, like, subscribe, and comment. Bye.